Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are continuing test flight. We are here in the quarry. We uh, we actually just entered the quarry on the last episode. And uh, yeah, just a quick recap is we, we, we need to go down to the log station, pick up the lumber, and then drive it all the way to the gateway where we will take it into Zimogorsk. And we will drop it off at the sawmill. And then we get to come back with one truck and do it all over again. So uh, let's get the Mastodon fired up. Everything's been refueled, so we shouldn't have to worry about fuel. But we do have to worry about setting up the winch. And uh, yeah, let's take off. Let's let's get underway. Let's get this uh, episode moving. <clears throat> all right, we are we are ever so close to. Uh, Getting done with Russia and moving on to the first uh, season pass or year pass or uh, expansion, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're almost there and I'm, I'm kind of excited because I, I want to see new territories and uh, I want to get out of this damn fog. <laughs> if there's fog in the next map, I'm going to lose my mind. I swear. I might just quit. I don't know. But like, I've done everything I can to turn off the fog and it's still persistent. So, we're just gonna have to uh, suck it up a little bit more. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be... Oh, I took a wrong turn. Ah, crap. Why is that marker way over there? Alright, well, you know what? We're gonna have to turn around. Shoot. Um, you know, we can do it right there. We'll, uh, we'll go back through all this stuff. I guess I should have, uh, paid a little bit more attention to where I was going. Go ahead and turn on the truck that's behind us, because somehow that got turned off. I think it's, I think it's the fog. The fog screwed me up. That was the issue there. Alright, so we still have a horrible overhang on this truck that we have to contend with, so... Uh, it's, it's unfortunate, but it kind of doesn't slow it down too bad. It, it will eventually, every once in a while, catch you. Uh, you just gotta kind of go with it and try to attack the... Uh, the, the ditch or the hill or whatever it is at an angle so that uh, you don't get hung up. But I mean, other than that, this thing is a beast going through mud. Uh, I'm sure it is going through snow as well. We'll, uh, we'll find that out soon enough. I think, we, uh, I think we're going to have plenty of snow maps coming up. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, let's, uh, let's continue to make our way through and, uh, get back to where we need to go. And unfortunately, it is, yeah, that's where we need to go. And then we need to go there, and then we need to go there, and then there, and then there, and yay, we'll be where we need to be. And everything will be good. So. Alright, let's, uh, okay, the trucks are on, we're good to go. And I still want to do a little bit of testing with this uh, with this truck and play around with the tires again. Um, whoop, shoot, geez, that was that was horrible. Uh, everyone, everything that I've seen online says that the stock tires are the best, but I, I don't know. I don't know. For some reason, I I want to test it for myself and see. We gotta go nice and wide here. Hopefully we don't get hung up. Oh, we just made it. <laughs> oh, nope. We're going to smash into that telephone pole. Uh, the issue with this game is not slowing down. Take your time. It's, uh, it will be better in the long run. But I never, I never learned that lesson before in my life, so 
you'll uh, you'll see me smack into a lot of things that I shouldn't. And you know what? That's kind of the name of the game. So, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> So the Lumberhead Mill is just at the bottom of this hill. And fingers crossed, it doesn't have a limited supply. I didn't I didn't check before I headed over here, so I'm hoping I didn't make a uh, grave mistake. Uh, because for every load you need three logs. So if it says it has three logs, that's only one load. Yeah, let's go. Let's go right. Why not? They uh, they took the time to put this trail in. Might as well use it. It's, uh, that's a heck of a shortcut through there if you can make it down. <laughs> All right, so let's let's hope that this is not a limited uh, location. Okay, cool. It doesn't seem to be. We got one load. Switch trucks. See how this truck handles uh, the load. Boom. No, oh, not too bad. Might actually do it better than the Mastodon. I'm not 100% sure. But let's go ahead and jump back in the Mastodon. Let's get our anchor point set up. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's. Take off. Now this is going to be a little tight through here, especially with this trailer in the way. Uh, maybe I should have came and gotten it. And this is probably going to be the worst part, is this turn here. I have a feeling I'm going to have to uh, disconnect to get everything through. It, it would have been nice if they opened the gate up all the way. But no, no, they, did, they, they decided not to do that. So let's go ahead and disconnect because we're going to need to fix that. Let's pull ahead here. Yeah, this truck is nowhere near the correct uh, location to get through that gate. Ooh. Look at the back wheels, they weren't even spinning. They were just stuck in the mud. Hey, okay, one more correction here, and then we should be good. There we go. Alright, beautiful. Let's uh, change trucks. Reattach our winch, and uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, get going. Now, in the last episode, I had uh, kind of found out that it's it's a little faster to uh, take your trucks individually. It, uh, the train will slow down to the slowest truck, so you're almost better off using the same truck to do a train. And then that way the speeds won't get affected. Because yeah, it, it it honestly slowed us down to the point where I think doing the logs individually with the faster truck would have been faster in the long run. And if I can try not to hit things, that would uh, make things even more faster. Alright, Mastodon. Look how uh, flexible those logs are. They look like uh, little tiny twigs about to snap. All right, let's see here. We are all discombobulated with the uh, marker. The good news is we are on the right road, so we can just keep going for it. Come on. I 
gotta pay attention. Definitely gotta pay attention. Uh, I should have been a little quicker to down downshift there. It's all right. It's not about speed. It's about power. We gotta be careful through here because of the stumps. I'm gonna try to go as wide as possible without crashing into a tree. And somehow I cleared it. Somehow I actually cleared it. And I don't know how the truck behind us. It looks like the uh, the treads went over the stump. I'm not sure if it did or not, but that's the way it looks like from that uh, that angle. So. We'll just uh, count our blessings and, and <laughs> be glad we didn't hit the stop. I, I wonder if I am even heading in the right direction. Uh, I am. Good. Sometimes you just have to double check and it truly does save you a lot of time. If you do double check, especially if you have that gut instinct that you're going the wrong way, because chances are you are. But always, it always pays off to uh, double check, make sure you're going the right direction. travel I still don't understand why they didn't make one of those buttons triangle um, I don't know maybe I can who knows I have a feeling I can't though because it's the image is on the screen right like it's not I don't know maybe I can who knows I I haven't tried it yet uh, but yeah let's uh, Turn on the engine. There we go. That should make it just a little bit uh, easier to get through here. We are we are way to the left, so we actually need to turn here and double back. And I'm hoping we can go that way, but I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out when we get there. It may be best just to split the trucks up now, uh, especially trying to get through the, the city where everything's tight. And it's not exactly going to be the easiest thing to take a 90 degree corner with a uh, road train. And we're going to bounce off that tree for fun. I don't know why I'm so far away. There we go. Hopefully we won't snag that tree again. Nope, we're clear. Cool. Right, let's try high gear. Nope, high gear is not working. Yeah, the worst part is, I think, is that we have the best engine we can get for this truck already. And I just, I wish they would have changed the way they did the upgrades. Like, if you, if you unlocked the truck at a certain level, you shouldn't have every single upgrade for said truck already. 
I feel that kind of ruins it because then you just put the best of the best and then it, it is what it is. You don't, you don't use the truck, you don't slowly upgrade the truck, you don't make the truck better. And it kind of takes away from that experience. You know, I remember, what was it? Uh, the early Need for Speeds when you would buy a car, or you would you, you'd pick your car in the beginning. You know, they'd give you just enough money to buy one car. But then you had to like upgrade that car and you had to, you had to make sure you, you know, put some money into it to make it usable. But you, you didn't just get, you know, you didn't do three races and then you had enough to buy a more powerful car. You actually had to make it your own and then, okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's separate because this is all going to be way too tight. Uh, but anyway, so you, you made it your own, and you, you felt like you used it for a good chunk of the game. And then eventually you could sell it once you upgraded, or, up, or uh, da, 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 what's the, the word I'm looking for? You unlocked player run cars, and then you kind of had to upgrade it, and so then you would upgrade to a faster car, and then you would, you would still sit there and modify and upgrade and make that one better instead of just buying the next car upgrade. So I feel like they take that away in games nowadays. I mean, I, for, I forgot what game it was. I don't, I think it was Horizon, where it's like they throw you in the best car in the game first, right off the bat. And, which is fine because it shows you, you know, you get to play the game a little bit, but then they take that away from you, but then it's like, oh, you can buy pretty much any other game right off the bat, or any other car right off the bat. And I feel that that takes away from the experience and the joy of of actually progressing in the game. Anyways, that's my rant for the day, I guess. I I do miss I do miss those days of, of grinding in Need for Speed Underground just to get your Chevy Cobalt, I think is what it was. It's either the Cavalier or the Cobalt. Um, I think it was the Cavalier because the Cobalt was in Most Wanted. And that was probably the first year... Uh, no, I want this truck. That was, that was the first year I think it was out uh, and released, so some reason I remember that. Probably because it was technically the only car that would have been within my grasp as a teenager to uh, purchase. And even then it technically wasn't because it was brand new. So it was probably a whopping like $15,000 brand new. Which is pretty sad. You, you can't even buy 10 year old cars for that price anymore. Unless they're absolute junkers. But anyways, enough going down memory lane. In fact, you probably have uh, memories just like that. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. I've, uh, I don't know, the past week or so, have, uh, haven't really had any comments, so... Had, you know, views, but nobody's really left comments, so... I, uh, feel like I'm kind of playing alone right now. Your comments uh, go a lot farther than you might think they do. Alright, so... Yeah, this this truck is probably faster than the... Uh, than the Mastodon. Um, which is funny because they got me. I, I paid to upgrade it. Or I paid to download it, I guess. I paid to play. And, uh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a good truck. I like it. I will continue to use it, uh, but I just think, you know, we'll we'll have to find its uh, its niche that it will be good at. Cause, I mean, it is really good at getting through mud. Don't get me wrong. Uh, well, it was good. That was a, that that's a pretty deep hole there, and surprisingly, we didn't suck any water in the engine. Which we uh, we sent water right up through the snorkel, so the uh, the snorkel definitely did its job. 
That's a that's an awkward mud puddle right there. All right, where do we gotta go? We gotta keep going straight, don't we? Yep. I think what we'll do is we'll take. Well, yeah, we'll take the other truck back to get more logs. I think that makes sense. It is faster. And I think right now we need uh we need some speed. We need to open things up. I think it's faster. I really couldn't say actually. I can't even read the gauge. Which one's the speedometer? There's so many freaking gauges, I can't tell. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that is it. And we're stuck for some reason. We're gonna just assume that that truck was stuck. So let's see if we can get a fair reading. I can't see Jack. Ooh, that's scary. I mean, this, this cab design is very interesting. Doing 20? I don't know. It feels like we were starting to haul some butt. Um, but let's drop those logs off. And yeah, maybe we'll just take maybe we'll just take this truck back. Who knows? You know what? We might as well because we we paid for it, right? Got to get got to get the. Uh, Oh, you know what? We might as well refuel too. We might as well get our money's worth out of it since we uh, paid a whopping four dollars and thirty-five cents or whatever it was for it. Minor, minor drop in the hat. All right, let's see. Does this loop around? Ah, uh, yeah, it does. We can. Uh, Go get this loop done real quick. Hopefully it won't take us too long. Now the million dollar question is where does it loop back around? I think it's uh I think it's a right here. I think it's right here, yeah. Oh, come on. Wheels turn. <laughs> hey, truck does not turn very fast when it's uh, at high speeds. And we got stuck on something. Try to go around that. Come on, 8x8, eight eight, you can do it. That looks like we were a little off there on the road, but that's fine. Oh, yep, let's just slam into the ground. Slash the mud. Yeah, that front end just, it, it, it really does get me. I, I don't understand it. Alright, I think this is the right way. I don't even know where that marker is. We just, we have to get to there, so. Yeah, you go across the bridge. Head down and around. Let's see, left should be the bridge. Left to the left. Ooh, probably prop prop oh, break. Jeez. 
See what happens when you try to go with too much speed? Alright, we're, we're starting to smoke a little bit more. And, uh, where do I gotta go? I gotta go... Okay, let's go down. And then when we get to the far corner, we'll go out. Yep, we'll just knock that out of the way. It's fine. It's not rusty. Nobody wants to use it. Yo, we got some speed. How fast are we going? Saying about 30. that up. Keep that up. Come on, fifth gear. Okay, I thought we were going to downshift a little bit more than that, but that's okay. Oh, and we bounce into the rock. I am, uh, I am hurting tremendously right now. Uh, we need to get to a repair shop. And or a gas station. <laughs> that last, uh, crash hurt bad. I don't think I've ever had an engine this bad before. Uh, there's a service hub. There is a fuel station service hub here. Perfect. We're not too far away. It helps if you turn off the uh, parking brake. Yeah, like I've, I've never seen this before where we're... The damage on the engine isn't... It's, it's just over a quarter. Have I ever been that low on an engine for damage? I definitely don't remember the whole warning icon. Is that new? I feel like that could be new, but at the same time, I feel like it could just be a coincidence that I've never seen it before. I could have sworn I have had damage, worse engines than this. It looks like my fuel consumption is increased. I don't know why the fuel gallon's red. That usually happens when you have a uh, gas tank that's leaking. So maybe it just means that we're burning more fuel than, uh, than we should be. Nope, better slow down because, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to avoid that stump and ended up going horribly off course. Alright, so, well, shortly we'll be uh, refueled and uh, repaired. And then we should be back at the uh, sawmill in no time. Oh, 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 come on, come on, react. Oh, the steering is so slow. All right, let's go. Let's go straight to the service hub. This should repair us driving through this box. Yep, and just like that, the fuel tank is still red. Why is the fuel still red? Have you guys seen this before? Is this something new? Okay. Well, that's weird. Because now it's not red. Oh, we don't need a trailer. We need a uh, fuel center. Alright, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Weird. Alright, well. Let's uh, just continue on. We do have a little bit of damage, but nothing too serious. And I gotta make sure I take the right trail, yeah. I thought it was the main trail, but just had to make sure. Like I said, it's, it's better to double check.
I love I love these log road roads. If I could if I could spit it out, I love these log roads. I don't know why that's so hard to say. <clears throat> I, I wish we could build them. I wish you could be like, okay, this 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 road here sucks. So if I can go get, you know, 10 logs or whatever, maybe not that many. But then I could I could put them down and physically fix the roads instead of just kind of dealing with it, right? Um, it's kind of like the uh, the roadblocks. You can you can get rid of the roadblocks. I, I feel like you should be able to put logs down to make the road better. Alright, so let's take a left. And let's try not to smash into the wood. And I guess the overhang there worked. Uh, that is not where we pick up our log. We have to go this side. There we go. Uh, that always helps when you pay attention. Oops. I don't know why it picked man man like manual loading platform, whatever it's called. Alright, so let's just yeah, we'll go out and swing around. It should be pretty safe for that. Although there are stumps in these woods, so gotta be careful. Uh don't we're gonna miss that one and we should be good. Tap that tree out of the way. Oh. Thought maybe you could explode the wood piles or something with your horn. Kind of funny the things that the horn affects. And sometimes the things it doesn't affect. We, we had our way back. It's a, it's a lot of driving back and forth. A oh, little bit of damage there for no real reason. I guess we would have uh, scraped the log with the front end of the truck. Although the bumper's fixed, so I don't know. Seems kind of strange. So now we just gotta go through a little bit of water. Which this truck really doesn't slow down that much for water. And mud. It does a pretty good job, so I feel like that's why there's an overhang. I don't I don't know if this is a real truck or not. I know a lot of the trucks are based off of real trucks. And I'm assuming if this isn't a real brand, that it's it's at least based off of a real one. But I have not uh, I have not Googled anything or looked it up to see. Um, are we going the right why is that? Sometimes the marker, I just I don't understand the marker sometimes. It's just in a random spot. I don't understand how that ends up happening. Especially if I I guess when I leave the game it saves the marker location, so. But that's usually when I have a lot of weird markers. Or I'll have like six extra points that it saves. And it's like, how did that do that? Why did it do
almost, almost back to Zimmergorsk. Come on, we can we can do it. There we go. All right. So the important thing is, I want to do. I want to go directly to the left. I am not going down that road. Like, look how far away it sticks you. It's insane. It's crazy. Back, I think. As long as there's no stumps, we should be okay to follow these railroad tracks. And we will kind of make our own trail. Wow, low buses. Slower than first gear. We can go around that rock. Um, should yep, pop right out here. So that's a that's a nice little shortcut for you guys. If you didn't know, instead of trying to like back up and go around the long way, just follow those railroad tracks. It's pretty simple. There's not too much involved. Oh, don't fall off the road. Some gas. Yeah, look at that. We know it looks like we know what we're doing. Even though we don't. Uh so that way in the left or I I guess it really doesn't matter which way I go there. I can go whatever way I want. There you go, there goes uh, the fence flying because I accidentally pushed too hard on the horn. Uh, crap, which way do I go? Uh, that way I guess? Sure. It looks like a horrible way to go, but let's do it. Let's speed up. There we go. Oh yes, this is the... Uh, this is the bumpy, <laughs> muddy part where you get hung up on logs. There we go. Let's run that over and get rid of it. Thank you. Get a, can we get a little stuck there? Um, yeah, we can. Follow this path and then somewhere up here take an immediate left. Yeah, I probably could sneak through there, but... That also looks like it would be a bad idea if I get stuck. That is not going to be an easy way to get out. Bolt tilt to the left. Probably going to smack into that tree, but I think it's dead. Nope. I guess that one doesn't fall away when you run into it. It's definitely dead. I'm starting to wonder, if, is this the last mission that we have with long logs? I think the rest of them are mediums. Hmm. But you know what? I guess we will find out shortly. Go ahead and 
drop them off in here. Boom, that's two of them done. We're gonna drive this back and probably sell the trailer and then recover. I think that's probably going to be the best thing to do and then we can figure out where we go from here. Oh, oh, whoa. Wow, that was weird. I don't know what happened there, but between turning <laughs> the truck and then rotating my camera view, <laughs> I, I threw myself way off the truck. Alright, so this is our one mode that we have to fix. It is uh, horribly stuck. And this route isn't too bad, the concrete's a little much, but I mean, there's technically asphalt there. And then it becomes mud, and then it becomes asphalt. So, oh yeah, and then we slam into it like it's going out of style. Alright, so we do have a little bit of a hike back to sell this trailer. Come on. Get through that mud. You can do it. Now the good news is I think we're uh, I think we're on asphalt the rest of the way to the uh, at least to the trailer store that is. This is kind of asphalt. A little bit of both. And we gotta cross the bridge. And it should be on the right, I think. Is it the left or the right? I don't remember. I think it's the right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the right. Well, you know what? It's okay. We are returning our $14,000 rear trailer. We uh, we won't quite recover yet. But we will stop the engine. We will jump into the ads off 5319. And we will try to get around this tree this time. There we go. All right, now we can kind of gauge whether or not the Azov is faster or if the uh, Mastodon is faster. I can tell you we may be in some trouble because we, I didn't notice this, but we are down to 11 gallons of fuel. But we're not in trouble because we left the Yaris, or the Yar, here. And... Oh, that was $17,000. That's that's pretty good. And no, I didn't look at the, uh, the points or the stars or whatever, the experience that you get, because we are maxed out in experience already. So, uh, let's refuel. Just steal whatever gas we can. That's That's probably good there. And you know what? I'm going to skip the morning. It's just easier to see. Let's see if we can get this, uh, this beast turned around. Not very easily, but we will eventually get there. Yeah, we can. Let's just cut through there. Oops, I I am on some rocks. I'm on some stumps. I'm on the trailer cam. That's why it was so weird. 
I was trying to figure out why it was so bumpy. <laughs> like this doesn't seem right. <clears throat> yeah, we should be able to go through here. Come on. It's, it's the bounciness that gets me sometimes. Even this truck has a, a decent overhang. I could zoom into it. Like, why is it zooming into the gas station? But it uh, isn't nearly as far as the uh, Mastodon. And I still, I still want to give the uh, the 605 uh, the Tezik, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. I forgot. Uh, but yeah, that the 605, which is the, I guess the baby Mastodon. I mean, the Mastodon's a 615, this is the 605. I heard good things about it, so I want to give it a shout, give it a try. Uh, but I think we have to find it first. Because uh, it's not, I don't believe it's a DLC. I think you have to find it in the wild. And I think it's on the next map, the Cola Peninsula. Uh, where am I going? I am not going where I need to go. Oh, uh, you know what? I think we can sneak through here. I just think we have to laugh. Yeah. Come on, turn. This thing doesn't have the best turning circle either. It's funny, the, the better the truck is, the worse the turning circle is on it. So that's really all you have to do. You don't have to test the tires, you don't have to test the engine, you don't have to test the transmissions. You just have to test the turning circle. And if it has a horrible turning circle, it's the best truck in the game. I honestly think that's the way it works out, so. Alright, let's go ahead and... I, I'm gonna return this trailer, but I'm not going to recover yet. Only because... What? Oh. Uh, only because... I'm not sure what the next mission is. So let's look at that before we do any recovering. Those are all done. Tega oil's all done. Hey, we're down to two episodes left. Um, if if memory serves me correct, that means we have two episodes left. We've got medium logs, and we've got water logs. So we need six medium logs. We might do we might do something special. And I might hate myself for it. So let's let's see real quick. Where does all this need to go? We need to go back to the quarry. Oops. Uh, the quarry is that one. <laughs> we have to pick up and drop off. Simple, easy, quick, dirty, whatever. Is what it is. The next mission. Ooh, but we will have to recover. Uh, because we need it set up for, uh, we need to set up for, um, medium logs. A bigger boat is dropping logs off from there, picking up logs from there to there. So, I mean, yeah, let's, uh, well, let's go with the water logs. Did I, did I do that right for some reason? Yeah, that is right. Okay, well, either way, we can do either either mission. Uh, but... That's a bigger boat mission. Okay, and that's quarry. Okay, yeah, so I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Okay. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to recover Sazoff. Uh, we're going to see where it takes us. We got to go to customize. We got to throw on a medium log. 
So that is a medium log frame. Which, let's go ahead and leave. We are in... Where are we? Oh, we're still in Zimigors. So perfect. Uh, let's go grab a trailer. The leave is way over here. Uh, the trailer store is way in the corner. They made it very convenient to get to. But let's throw on a trailer because... Yeah, we can bring two loads per truck. So this might be... Is that a medium? I guess medium and small logs are the same, are they not? Um, is it me or is it... Yeah, I think it's the position. Go ahead and fix this. Yes, yeah, perfect. Okay. So we've got this truck. Let's put this one off to the side. Let's go grab the Zika or the Mammoth. Let's recover that one. Customize. I I think this does medium logs. Pretty sure it does. I think it does all the logs. Medium logs, $6,000. Ah, uh, customize. Should we change the tires? Hmm. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm going to leave the tires the way they are. Yeah. Let's leave this garage. I kinda wanna get a third truck going. And I have to figure out real quick what truck it is that I want. Get the medium log holder. I'm pretty sure these trailers do medium logs and small logs. I hope they do. I guess we'll find out. I mean, we don't really care if they do medium logs or er, small logs, but we need to make sure they do medium logs. And uh, let's go to the garage. Do we have any trucks in storage that would be? Yeah, I think. Ooh, do we, do we not, do we, do we not? Ooh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Let's do... We haven't done the Dan, have we? Who has bigger tires? 50, 51, 51. Oh, we haven't used the civilian in a while, but I don't think the civilian will do... I don't think the civilian does logs. No, it doesn't. So go ahead and retain that one. Go into truck storage. I'm thinking. I'm thinking the Yaz off. Let's let no. You know what? Let's do this one. If it does medium logs, and it doesn't. Of course, it doesn't. All right. Truck storage. Where's the ads off? Customize. Tell me it does medium logs. It doesn't do medium logs. Okay, that's out of the question. The Targa? Or Tega? The Tega? Let's try the Tega. This is going to take most of the episode just to uh, find the truck that does medium logs. It doesn't do medium logs either. Oh, this is this is becoming a nightmare. Uh, truck storage. Let's retain that, I guess. Dan, do you do it? Customize. Long logs. No, you don't do it either.
Um, I mean the Tartra? Can we try the Tartra? None of these look like they would even come close to being able to do it. You might be able to. Von D. We haven't used the Von D in a while. Medium logging. And I think... Ooh, it's downpouring out now. Ooh, it's got horrible tires. Well, you know what? Let's just go with it. As long as you can do what I think you can do. Uh, there we go. We are all set, ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm going to end it there just because it's the perfect time and we're right at the one hour mark. So uh, I'm going to try and, and fingers crossed. I'm going to try to get the next two missions done in the next episode. I may have to go a little long. I may have to do a little bit of editing. But I really want to get it done, and I want to move on to the next, uh, the next re region, which is the uh, Kola Peninsula. And actually, take a look at it real quick. Um, and I'm not gonna lie; it looks like snow, which means there's probably uh, there's probably ice, <laughs> and there's probably fog, and there's probably northern lights, and there's probably a whole nother game to play so uh anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode please give me a thumbs up and like and actually a thumbs up and a like is the same thing so thumbs up and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you uh liked the content and uh, want to see more and let me know what you uh would like to see in the future so uh we will see you in the next episode bye for now